Uh, hello guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show how to make a radial progress bar or a circular progress bar. So I'm going to drag these two files into here, which are basically circular things. And this one, as you can see, has very little quality. So I'm going to go into Format and True Color and Apply. And now it has good quality. Anyways, let's create a new game object here in the hierarchy. So Control Shift N and name it Circular Button. And put it in the canvas and and let's create two UI elements that are shout to that circular button. That will be the a button and it will also be an image. Yep. And let's drag this two into there. So the image will be this blank circle and the button will be this thing over here, like so. And make it make it preserve aspect so that it gets round. And they're right now they're not the same size. As you can see this one is a hundred and a hundred and this is not so just put this one at all hundred and a hundred and I'm going to put the image uh, behind the button like that so that we can see the button and the image which will be our progress bar uh, by the way if you want yourself circular bars uh, uh, horizontal bars there's an easier way to do it which is with the UI slider right over here and that's basically easier to do it with a slider anyways anyways with the image is also possible to do that uh, and to make the image be filled only in a certain part change here the image type from simple to filled and I have uh, here some options so put it on horizontal and that's exactly what I was talking about it feels like that as you can see and if you want it to instead of feeling like in a specific direction you can you can rotate the image and it will rotate in a different direction as you can see anyways what the rotation that we want is this one and you can also put it vertical radial 90 which is like 90 it puts like a pivot in here and it rotates around that this one rotates around the pivot in the middle in the middle down over here and you can also you can of course change the origin and what we're going to use today is radial 60 and it does ex exactly what you expect and I want it to begin on the top and it goes like that and if you actually put it to be counterclockwise counterclockwise so it feels like that yep and that's basically it oh and the reason that I made this circle white is that so that we can tint it with whatever the color you want and I'm going to make it blue like so I will actually be using a blue one of the default blues but anyways this is fine for now so let's get started coding this button so let's add a component make a new script and circular button script open it and into this store we'll be using a thing called enums which they are basically like a, a way of naming st states so we have some states and those states are enums so public so let me show you public enum and the enum has a name I'm going to call it state and it has some some states it will have the active state the ready state and the charging state and this is basically what the enum is it has like it has three states or whatever the ones that you want to add you can you could actually do the same thing with an int you know being being each each int for example zero is the one state one is another and two is another state you could do exactly the same thing with an int but in this story I'm going to use this just to show you how it works and I'm going to make a here uh, a public state status and here we're creating a variable of type state called status okay and 
and this this is basically the way that I want to, this to work. Uh, the button is fill, filled up, uh, which is the ready state, and then the button gets gets clicked, and we get on the and we get on the active state, okay, where the button decreases like this, and then when the button reaches zero, we will get again to the full state. Uh, in one of the, the in the other in the next tutorial we'll be using this charging thing, but for now we'll just keep it simple. So let's get yeah let, let's get started. Uh, we are going to need the uh, uh, instance of that image, so I need to create here. I need to put here using Unity Engine dot UI, and I need to create an instance for the public image. Uh, circle which is a circle behind the the white circle that is now blue and in the in the start I want the status to be equal to the state dot ready meaning the button is filled up and I'm going to set the color of the button to be blue so circle dot color equals color dot blue and this is the default color. You can you can create your custom color, but I'm fine with this one. Anyways, what I want to do is whenever we click the button, so I have to create here a function to whenever we click the button, and I'm going to call that function public void pressed. So whenever we click the button, um, if the state status equals stat state dot ready meaning if it's in the it's all filled up then we want some actions to happen first off we want to make the status be now equal to the state dot active and we want to execute the function so we this function will take care of it later function okay and that's done over here now here in the update function and the way that we're going to fill up this is with the timer so I'm going to put here two variables a public float called active time and a counter Oops. and a float counter and what I want to do is whenever we get into the state active so if status equals state dot active then I want the counter to start counting and because the counters are initially at zero all I have to do is to put counter plus equals time dot delta time and this is a regular timer that goes up with time and we want to make a check inside this this uh, inside here which says if the counter is bigger than or equal to the active time meaning the counter has gone all the way down then we want to fill it up back again so all you have to do to do that is set here the state to be active so status equals state dot active and we also want to update the fill of the of the image so the image is what's called circle so circle dot fill amount and that will be equal to a percentage and that percentage will be the counter divided by the active time and this this will be a percentage for example the the active time represents the hundred percent and this this will grow as you can see here this will grow until the 100% and according to that this will show more or less blue ok with that then we want to know whenever the, the counter has increased until the active time so if the counter is greater or equal to the active time then we want to set the state the status to be equal to ready so status equals state dot ready and what happens when the state is ready uh, I'm going to put here, here an else if so else if so I'm going to put here another if clause it could be an else if an else if 
if status equals state dot ready then want to reset the counter so the counter equals zero we want to to make the the circle be all filled up so we want to find the circle dot fill amount be equal to one and that's basically it let's see if this is working fine and here in Unity there's a stuff that there's some stuff that we need to do like changing here the active time to something different from zero I need to put two the circle I need to drag that circular white thing in there and here we want to call the function pressed that we coded in the button to happen so that the state so that whenever you click the state changes to active state so let's hit play and hopefully all is working fine now if I click the button does like that and then it ends and as you can see the state is ready again and active and okay it's working fine uh, there's only there's one last thing that I want to, one last tweak that I want to do which is make it instead of grow, growing to to shrink so there's a simple thing to do that just go just put here one minus this and this will basically make it decrease like I'm going to show you right now so it's filled up and it now it will now decrease and then it fills up again and that's basically it. Uh, now this, right now this button we have only taken care of this fill part of the button but we, it, the button itself isn't doing anything so I'm going to create here and I put here a, a place for us to put a function and here I'm going to actually use a feature that we made in the very first video which was when we created a touch stuff video which the touch stuff script and in that script we created a thing called max fingers which was the max number of fingers valid in the screen so for instance if if this was two and you had three fingers on the screen only two of them finger two fingers would count not three and we're going to make it increase this while while it's on the active state and when it goes back to the ready state we want it to to go back to where it was so here in the so we have to create a, re a reference for this script in the other script so public touch stuff and just name it ts something simple and what you want to do whenever we click is to access that ts and you want to access the variable called max fingers plus plus just increase it by one and when we want to decrease it whenever the counter has reached the active time and we change the state again so I need to put here the brackets and put here max fingers minus minus so, so that they go back to normal and here if I click on the banana sprite where it is the touch stuff the max finger is, is free I'm going to put it to 2 so play and now you'll see if I click the button you'll see that this number will go up oh of course I forgot to and also I have to put that reference that I put here this reference onto the script so let's go into the button where that script is so we have here the reference and all you have to do is to drag the game object that has that script which is a banana stuff and now it has the touch and now it has a touched so if I hit play now you'll see that the max fingers will change so if I click you'll see it's now free and when it ends it goes back to 2 and that's basically it for today guys thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial